And we are back on another episode for a sampler pod. We got some SmackDown news for you. This is your boy JJ. We got Javi right over here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, sign up for the memberships. And hey, man, keep them likes up. Keep them, uh, keep sharing with everybody that you know. But anyways, let's go ahead and kick it off with... Go, go. SmackDown, we're talking about LA Knight had a backstage encounter with Paul Heyman. That was kind of interesting. Um, I do think that it's almost like introducing or kind of testing the waters with LA Knight, see if he's ready for a main event push. Uh, because if there's somebody who that's involved with, I mean, the puppet master is Paul Heyman. Yeah. So, I mean, I think it's, I think it's kind of interesting that they're at least, he's getting at least a little bit of a rub to a certain extent right now. Like I, I don't I don't know if they're actually gonna have a feud or something, but they're probably just testing the waters out to see what happens. I will actually be excited to see a Roman Reigns versus LA Knight match, man. Cause like the crazy thing is, bro, like we've been saying, hop on that LA Knight train since the very, very, very since he made it to the main very, roster, and we were like, very. Why did he keep his old? Why did he keep that that gimmick from NXT? He should be LA Knight, yeah. the real LA Knight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. But then Absolutely. you want to come? You want to come with this bullshit of uh, maximum, <laughs> maximum male, male models. models? Nah, nah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But but yeah, man. Like uh, LA Knight is great. He's great on the mic. Um, his his in ring, he still got to work on that. I mean, like realistically, it's his age, you know. And then um, I don't his last think match it's his, I don't think it's his age. I don't think it's his age. He's always worked that way. He's a very oh, WWE okay. type guy. Like he wrestles like a the couple Miz. moves. Yeah, like yeah, the Miz, yeah. but yeah, but look at Stone Cold, look at Rock. They weren't like great in ring. In fact, even even look at somebody like Roman Reigns. It's only like one move, but it but it means something. So every time they do a move, it, uh, it's not just it random means. moves. It's just like jumping around, doing like seventy five moves, and then you beat somebody with a regular schoolboy. And you know, no, you don't you don't do that. <laughs> like you don't El do paquetito. that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. They do seventy five Canadian destroyers to each other, seventy five power bombs. But then they what they win with the dumbest move ever, uh, so okay. it, yeah, so that's fine. I mean, he's entertaining at the end of the day. Cause look at Stone Cold. Stone Cold when he when he was younger, he Give was me a great, hell yeah, yeah. No, but he was a great in ring wrestler. But then when he broke his neck, when uh, Owen Hart broke his neck, he came back and he was more character than anything else. His punches looked terrible. Most of his in ring work was not very crisp. But who cared? It was more about that it whole experience. Like, yeah, yeah, I mean, it was Stone Cold. Look at Rocky wasn't was never amazing. Hulk Hogan was never amazing. John Cena no. was never amazing. So the there's five moves of doom. Well, the biggest the, the, <laughs> the greatest guys of all time, none of them are that great on the uh, in the ring. The only one that I would say is maybe a Ric Flair, obviously or Bret Hart's, but they're kind of in that not top guy tier in my opinion. Uh, I love them, but I don't I don't think they're they're kind of at least in WWE because Ric Flair was I mean was a goat in in uh, NWA and whatnot. But at least in WWE, the biggest guys you know it's your Rocks, Hogan, and uh, Cena, and uh, now Roman, they're not amazing in ring workers, but they are safe and they're always there, yeah. which is important. They're never injured. I was gonna say it would definitely be very very interesting if we got LA Knight versus Roman Reigns. Like, they can, I think, like, going toe-to-toe on the mic, I think it will be crazy. It will be great. You don't think so? Mm-hmm. No? Why not? I, I, to, to, to it, if it was just AEW booking, yes. Which is just like, oh, let's put these two guys together and they just have a match and that's it. I cool. mean, that wouldn't make Fine. sense on why they're feuding, but it's just like, kind of like who, the next Who does it benefit? The, the thing is that who does it benefit in the end of the day? Because you're not going to have Roman lose against against LA Knight and then if yeah. you have LA Knight lose against Roman he's gonna look weak and he's on his way up so it's I don't know it, it's kind of that weird I uh, think the only way that he will lose is like how everybody else has lost to Roman Reigns is like somebody gets involved like realistically you know yeah but I mean? even like, then the, can... the, but I think once you have that one match with Roman Reigns it kind of takes the polish off of the off of the car like it's it, it's like kind of for example like Cody right now the moment for Cody to win was at WrestleMania. If he didn't win it, yeah. I don't think he should have another shot. Drew McIntyre, yeah. his thing he, was at the castle. Because realistically, like he doesn't deserve a rematch unless he wins something to get there. 
Well, but even then, I don't think you're going to get that big of a reaction compared to what it would have been at WrestleMania or Drew at the Castle. Drew at the Castle, if he would have won, that place would have exploded. They would have rioted. Exactly. So, <laughs> yeah, no, that, that would that would have been that would have been a great moment. So yeah. then you're just going to give it to him in a random. It's like Bad Bunny something. beating Roman Reigns at Backlash in Puerto Rico. They would have rioted. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I know it would have never happened, but I'm just saying, like, come on, man! Like, you got that, yeah, but, you got the but, homeland behind them. So, yeah, but it's, but, but it's kind of one of those things where I don't see any benefit for anybody. I don't even see anything interesting in them. The only thing that I could possibly Let me just live my fantasy. Come on, man! No, the only thing I can see happening is him having a feud with like Solo or with or with Jimmy at that point for one of the smaller titles if they are going to have any kind of title match. But other than that. It, it's not even it's not even worth it at this point because what are you going to do then use Ellie and I just as a bridge for uh, for Roman to get to Cody at this point uh, I, th- I think it's kind of weak since know. we're talking about Cody let's go ahead and move on to our next topic which is a possible Cody going to Smackdown you forgot something I, huh you forgot something what hey so what do you want to talk about today Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. About that. <laughs> the worst catchphrase ever. <laughs> I'm glad that I forgot about it. So, um, I will hate if Cody, some way, somehow, got on the SmackDown roster. But Paul Heyman, before the whole thing with LA Knight, was like asking, "What's his name? What's uh the dude's name? I can't forget. I always forget. The GM from SmackDown. Oh, uh, uh, Adam Pearce." Adam Pierce uh, was asking Adam Pierce, so who's getting traded to uh, SmackDown? Blah blah blah. So like, they put the little seat there, so that means that you know they're gonna make a big deal about it. Like the locker room's gonna be really pissed or something. Yeah, like I, be... I think it's gonna be Cody Rhodes. Unfortunately, be top um, dollar. Yeah, you imagine <laughs> that would be hilarious. Actually, but, you know, uh, you know, I could see Drew. <laughs> Drew wouldn't be Drew... bad. I think it will help. Yeah. Because, I mean, you, he should have never stuff. left. Well, he yeah. should have never gone to Raw. Watch him send Matt Riddle over there. It's like, no. <laughs> no, they're just going to send, send Gunther back. No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. But realistically, like, we don't know. We don't know who's going to come over. I think it's going to be Cody Rhodes, unfortunately. It's very um, predictable. And that's how it's going to, you're going to get the Cody versus Roman eventually. Because, like, realistically, right now we're in September. So like we're only uh, a seven few months, away? months, huh? What seven months away from Mania? Uh, yeah, right around. Yeah. yeah, seven eight months. Yeah, so like we're a few months away, not nah, eight eight months because it's in April. Gotcha. Wait, is it? No, no. Yeah, I think it's in seven, April. Seven, 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 yeah, seven, seven or eight, seven. or close to. Yeah. Give or yeah. take a, yeah. <laughs> a few days. Yeah, but um, still, you know, they're gonna do. They're gonna. They're going to milk it. And then eventually, I have a feeling that Cody Rhodes is going to win the Rumble again. I just oh, have a feeling. I, I hope I, if, I, he win, if he wins it, I hope it's he starts at number one this time. Not just come in, be two, there are two seconds, and then you're, he wins and then cuts his first promo. Hey, I defeated 29 other guys. No, you didn't. You beat like two. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. And the I hardest when one they do was that. Gunther. And we already knew that he Gunther was going to lose. Yeah, yeah. But Gunther. Sh- oh, and that that was his star making moment. When people that didn't watch it, they bro, were, if he would have won. Oh, but but that was the moment that people noticed who he was. Because a lot of people that are casual wrestler, casual wrestling fans, they probably Gunther like, who the heck is this dude? And then that and match, they boo him because he's a heel. But realistically, bro, he's one of the hardest workers on in Monday Night Raw. I mean, he's a heel, but he, he realistically doesn't really cheat. And he puts the best matches out of anybody on the roster. Like, realistically. Like, every match that he has is a banger. Yes. A banger. A banger. Like, bro, with, the match with, with Chad anybody, Gable? Bro, those three matches were phenomenal, bro. They, they were, were absolutely better amazing. than anything that has happened this year. <laughs> Wrestling-wise, from WWE. I mean, he, to a certain extent, this is the first time that... Granted, Chad Gable does have a lot to do with it too, because Chad Gable uh, he cemented himself yeah. as a guy. But Gunther gave him the rub, and now he he gave him that credibility. And now you could actually see Chad Gable going for maybe like a U.S. title or something like that, and winning it and be credible. Even even having a shot at the world title, he's not going to win it. But at least it's not going to be like, oh yeah, this bum. 
send Chad Gable over to SmackDown. Please. Oh, please, no. Why no, not? No, no. So and then he goes for the US title. Oh, I thought you were going to talk about uh, going against Roman. I was like, no. No, 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 okay, no, no. no. Going, going, to get, going for the US title. Come on, man. He got he, That will be the right title for him. He's that an fits Olympian. Him perfectly. <laughs> fits yeah, him perfectly. He's an Olympian. So it's like, come on, man. I, 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 you're not wrong there. You're not wrong there. I, 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 I like that. Actually, yeah. what if it's Chad Gable going to SmackDown? I will be very happy Ooh, with that. That would yeah. be interesting. Yeah, no, no Otis and no, no. The fuck. Sorry, I don't know if you heard that, that kid. car. Oh, I it thought was it was like, your. That was one nah, your kids. I was like, like it, okay. it sounded like a creepy ass car. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, but anyways, um, yeah, man, um, Chad Gable going over with no Otis and no uh, Maxine or whatever her name is. Which, by the way, Maxine apparently wants to go for a title, for a woman's title. But I've Jeez. never seen her wrestle, so like. I saw her once with that uh, play uh, against Valhalla, or whatever her, the heck her name is, Sarah Logan. Valhalla. <laughs> that was a terrible. The, I mean, it wasn't terrible with match. I still it was, can't believe, but like she almost had an outfit. Uh, what's, what's the word? <laughs> wardrobe malfunction. malfunction. Malfu- war, wardrobe malfunction, bro. Like yeah, it's kind of a weird word to say. Weird yeah. word. War, wardrobe. wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> There we go. It would have been it would have been nuts. But anyway, you imagine man. Wardlow had a wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like God damn, bro. But, but uh, yeah, man. I I hope it will be cool if it was Chad Gable. I, to be honest with you, that's fantasy booking right there. But I doubt it. Um, I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be um, what's his name? Um, Cody. Cody Rhodes. Hey, but so, if he yeah. if he does, we predicted it here. First. Yeah, we put, yeah, yeah. We said nobody that. said that. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Randomly, but it puts us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Doesn't matter how you get there, as long as you get there. <laughs> but, Give uh, me a hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So, uh, the WWE Women's Division, SmackDown and Raw. To me, the highlight of that division has been Becky Lynch and Trish Stratus, ironically enough, the last few months. As crazy as. As no, no, let's halfway not, let's decent not talk as about the last few months. Let's just talk about two weeks. Two weeks. No, three weeks. Well, but it's still. It's but still it's the been, only important thing that's happened. Okay, since uh, what was the last pay-per-view before Payback? Backlash, wasn't it? No, before Payback, no. SummerSlam. SummerSlam. So since SummerSlam, let's just talk since SummerSlam. Realistically, both rosters have been like super mediocre. Um, in terms of the storyline and things like that, they don't know what to do. It seems like they don't know what to do with the women's roster. It, it's a shame because on SmackDown, they have a very, very solid women's roster. And then it just seems like they're, it, they're going to waste. Mm-hmm. You got EO Sky with the title. They don't know what to do with her. She's just kind of like a, uh, she's along for the ride. I don't and... understand it. I don't understand it because it seems like Bailey's still the leader of that team. But she doesn't have the main title. Why are they still together? It's Fox. it's weird. It's it's really weird. Yeah. And, and by the way, Bailey's been wasted. Yeah. Bailey has been wasted so badly the last yeah. two years. I'll yeah. say. I mean, she's a yeah. main event player. She's she's great in the ring. She's great promo. Everything is really is great about Bailey, and they just have her doing random crap. My I question know. is, why the fuck is Shotzi getting a push? And then they're know, trying like, to give her give her the rub with Charlotte. Out of all people. It could have been Bianca. It would have been probably better. You know what I mean? Anybody but, but out Charlotte. Of, out of all people, you're going to have Charlotte give her the rub. Whenever she's like the probably like the most 50-50 light uh, women's uh, wrestler on the roster. Yeah, you know she's, what I mean? She's, she's tank, she should be a heel always. Yeah, so I don't know so, why they're booking her as a baby face because she does not work as a baby face. At and Shotzi, and I'm sorry, but Shotzi is fucking terrible. Like, there's nothing positive about her. Like, I'm I'm not trying to be negative. I'm not trying to be a dick or anything like that. Like, I'm legit you just speaking dick. facts as a fan. She fucking sucks. Like, yeah. yo, whenever she came out, I, whenever I was on on Friday Night SmackDown live, and she came out, no reaction, pin drop at all. They won, no reaction. They, I think they pumped some audio into the stream, <laughs> like legit. Like whenever I was watching it, because I went back to watch it 
you know what I mean, on the TV, just to see, like, maybe, I, like, you know, you could see your boy from all the way up there in the club seats, you know what I mean? But, like, no, realistically, no. Like, yo, they pumped some fucking audio into it. I'm like, bro, there's no way. That was dope. She almost gets that. the same reaction as Gable Steveson got, basically. Damn. She was like, crickets. <laughs> yeah. And that's like, bro, that's why they took him out. Now that, I, now, now that you mention him, we forgot. Yeah, he got no reaction. Like, nobody him. cared. They, sent, they took him out. They're like, um, he didn't make it in NXT, bro. Hey, might as well. Ha I'm happy that it happened now instead of you know, three years down the line. And then we have Elias part two. <laughs> I mean, realistically, like, I don't understand why they're like, you know what? Let's just uh, grab an Olympian and then just turn him into a, a WWE wrestler entertainer. So you're like, trying to get Kurt Angle again. It's not you're trying only to get Kurt about, Angle again. Yeah. It doesn't work. It's not only about wrestling. Like, you know what I mean? It's like you have to get a promo. You have to have personality. You have to connect with the crowd. Bro, the dude didn't connect with not even his fucking charger. Like, that's how bad it was. So, yeah, man. Like, um, I'm glad that he's gone. But anyways, talking about the women's roster. Yeah. I don't know how <sighs> to fix it. Like, I, I was thinking, I'm like, how can I book it? You know what I mean? Like, how can can JJ write his scripts for this? I, I can't. I, I, I mean, literally I, can't. I have a few things. I have a few things. One, uh, as I said a, a little earlier, Bailey has to be on top of one of the divisions. SmackDown or Raw, I don't care at this point which one. They, if they keep her in SmackDown or if they move, I don't care. Whatever. Uh, even the, well, she's in Raw, right? And I'm, I don't remember. No, she's in she's in SmackDown. I, I, I'm confused with the with the with the damn um, you know with their draft and then not them not respecting the draft anyways. But I, I do think that Bailey should be the head of that division. There's no reason head why. Yeah, head of the table, chair. I don't care what it is, the kitchen counter. I don't give a damn. As long as she's and on uh, she's the the head of that uh, that division. She she knows how to do everything. She knows how to work with everybody. There's she doesn't have any lo anything that you could say. Oh no, people don't like her. People don't react to her. No, people react to her. She knows how to wrestle. She can make anybody look great in the ring. And that may be one of her problems. That instead of turning into one of the greatest of all time, she's turning into Dolph Ziggler, which or Natty. She's like which the new. She's, they're turning her into the new yeah. Natty, which is like, oh, you you're a great wrestler. You can have a great match with anybody. And then hey, go go ahead. You know, have ten minutes. Go ahead, eight or ten minutes with Shotzi. And you're like, dude, why are you doing this? And then Asuka, I have no idea what's going on with her. That's all, you know, she came back and she's screaming and all that stuff. I know Bianca's out for a bit. Charlotte, honestly, Charlotte seems like she's wrestling and she does not care. Because that's if there's one thing I could always say about Charlotte, like her character or not, her in-ring was always top-notch. Top-notch. Maybe the best of all time. Henry when she's on but when she's not on it's bro it's it's me mid super mediocre and it's a shame too because she's not doing what we know she can do yep. so I don't know what's going on there so maybe they just have to reshuffle that whole division maybe even just consolidate both titles and have one division instead of two and just get I rid of that, a bunch I of think people that will actually, call I was going to mention that I think it will be interesting if it was maybe that way because like realistically you have so many uh, you have like an extra hour on Monday Night Raw that most of the time is freaking cutscenes and shit like it's a game you could have like more women's matches especially like quality women's matches not have Dana Brooke against Shotzi like who the fuck wants to see that Real, like realistically you're wrong for that <laughs> shout, out to Dana, shout out to Dana Brooke man that's our goat remember Yo, <laughs> we found her shirt I found her shirt. You did? Where is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's uh, it's technically not her shirt. It's a shirt with somebody, somebody else, with our truth. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's an our truth shirt. But yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> is it an our truth shirt or is it a? <laughs> I, I don't know, bro. It just shirt. said Dana. Honest, I was like, oh shit, she got a shirt. Like, I mean, she legit got a shirt. <laughs> like, it's not. It's not like they look like each other. Just saying. Like yeah, no, 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 no. Completely. Nah, but you know the storyline that they had with between both of them a long time ago with the twenty four seven title. Oh right? my god, I almost forgot about that. Yeah, that was, that was her only title, I think. Mm -hmm. That you ever had, right? I believe so. I want to believe that. Talking about that. Now, on about the other hand, Shotzi 
Dana Brooke mm-hmm. is definitely better than Shotzi. Like, like I'm talking shit about uh, Dana. You know what I mean? But like Dana Brooke, at least she fucking works hard. I'm trying to change her character, trying to evolve, trying to be better. But realistically, like, what can you do with Shotzi? <laughs> like, like, you just got poop. How's he? I was gonna say even my phone knows it because you know it when I <laughs> whenever you push shit it literally changes it to Shotzi so it's like bro like like even Apple even Apple knows like yo Shotzi's trash like you know what I mean and it kind of sucks like realistically like nobody nobody wants to talk bad about a wrestler but like realistically like she's pretty bad I mean as a person she seems cool as a regular human being. Maybe she should just stick to being like a, uh, a regular a human being, or something like that. <laughs> a regular human being, bro. I'm sure Sheets and uh, McDonald's are hiring. <laughs> you DoorDash one day. DoorDash. <laughs> but hey, no, no. She respect comes out res- I'm a psycho. I'm no. A psycho. What did you say about me? Oh, you know yeah. they spit in your food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. But uh, yeah, but the thing is, like, I, like you're saying, we don't want to, we don't want to talk bad about anybody in particular i mean but the truth is truth i mean come on man like yeah. like it, you I'm, should be able to put more effort into your fucking character and to wrestling well maybe some people aren't good in that high pressure situation then they shouldn't be in wwe no i know Sorry. I, like, I, 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 I i'm not I'm, take that shit somewhere else to the i'm not uh, i'm not saying i'm not i'm not against what you're saying what, I, what i'm saying is that i mean some people it's that's like they say that some people whenever they they might have like a great personality and all of a sudden they turn on the camera light and they're like dude, 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 dude. i did it yeah. for the broke almost i did it but, i did it <laughs> yeah so because it's, it's just not the same thing because you have the pressure you're thinking about okay this 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 and maybe even in shotzi's case she's been criticized so much that it's probably in her head already i'm sorry but, but whenever you keep doing the same dumb shit over and over again, how can you not be criticized? Like, how can somebody be like, yo, you just got to be positive, man. Like, you just got to look at the positive side. No, there is no positive. I'm sorry that you okay, cannot so, take so, a bag so of quick, shit so and then quick. turn it into gold. So real quick, give me like three peop- three women that you would eliminate from the division right now. From the what? From the division. If you were From the Vince women's, Mc- like yes. overall. Overall, doesn't matter. Definitely Shati. Okay. Uh, I f- okay, so me personally, I feel like the women's division cannot have a jobber. Like realistically, no, you cannot have a jobber. That's just me. That's just me. Like everybody should be. I'm not saying that everybody got to be a star or something like that, but you cannot have a Santina Morella unless no. you, like unless you're funny. Like if if Shotzi was hilarious. You know what I mean? If she had a character that she was fucking hilarious, then hey, I wouldn't probably be saying none of this stuff. But no, you're not even funny at all. No, no, no. So, no, no. Uh, yeah, no, no. Uh, I will get rid of Shotzi. Um, is this counting NXT too or no? No, just just do main roster. Just because NXT they're still learning, so we, we got yeah. But like, but stuff. like realistically, like like the roster is not that big. So, like, but even then, I mean, there's there's more than I personally will probably get rid of Liv Morgan. Okay. Um, why would you get rid of? Why would, why would you get rid of her in particular? Why? Because we had a couple. She had a couple of character changes, and they all stayed the same, technically. <laughs> um, in terms of improvement, I have not seen improvement over the past years that she's been. She's just gotten a push. That's literally all it's been. But she did improve vastly, when, you know, when she started in the NXT, when she was kind of like that Jersey girl, whatever it was. She was better with that. But yeah, but then, it, yeah, but she improved. I, I, I could see her improvement in NXT, but in the main roster, I think they focused more on the Just, character than anything else. Yeah. And nothing really completely worked. I don't think, I, I'm trying to think of a third one, but maybe the third one would probably be Zoe Stark. And Zoe Stark, okay. That's interesting. I can't, Zoe, I can't Stark, think Zoe, Zoe Stark, the only thing is that at least in ring she's not bad uh, I, I, I can't no i can't say she is a uh, character obviously she has a lot of work to do there but i do think there's a i'd probably give her another six months to maybe a year of, of her i think there's people that are way worse than her who would you get rid of yeah so me i would get rid of candace LeRae. 
Oh the, my god, I forgot she was still on the roster. Exactly, exactly my the, point. The poison pixie. Get rid of and, and this one kind of kind of hurts me a little bit because she, she does seem like a really nice person. She seems she's awesome, but uh, Nikki Cross. Because at this oh, point, I have not seen her. Bro. I have not. Yeah, but I haven't seen her. She haven't done anything with her. There's always a stop and go, stop and go. Kind of like what you were saying with Liv, but at least Liv got a push. She didn't get I a push. Thought. They gave her the title, and it and it, it actually she pushed her down. I don't know. I think she was studying. She was getting her master's or something like that. Probably very smart. Yeah. So good uh, for her, man. Good for her. At least she's. I love at least her she's, accent. Yeah, she's, but but she's it, legit. She's yeah, and at least she's. Person. Yeah, and at least she's smart too, because she's getting an education and everything. So hey, guess she what? The brain meat. Exactly, which is way more important, anyways. Uh, then the other one I would get rid of, and it's going to sound controversial, but I already mentioned her before, Charlotte. Charlotte, Charlotte's just I in the way. See that. She's I mean, in like, the way. She's in you, the she way. She was not miss. She was not miss. Whenever she's she in the gone. way. She's not doing. She's not contributing to the division. She's just in the way. Yeah. I can't stand her promos anymore. I can't stand her in ring, which is getting sloppy. Like no, like I. I, I no, go go away for like two years and come back later on and see if if we care. Because no, I don't think anybody even cares that she's there anymore. She doesn't have that aura that she once had of this of this amazing wrestler where you'd see her with the big robe. And no matter what, she looked impressive. Like you were like, oh damn, like that must be somebody important. Now I it's think, like eh. I, I think I think the problem is like some of these uh, some of the girls they need like a uh, a character change. Like you know what I mean? Like Bianca Gastel, realistically, she should. I think she should be a heel and join Montez Ford and uh, and Bobby Lashley. Um, oh, by the way, we don't even know their heels yet because yeah, it's like every other show. Baby faces, yeah. <laughs> it's like you have so, Bobby Lashley yeah. come out there with the smiling, yeah. and it's like, bro, then, you're supposed to be bad guy. Yeah, yeah. So like Bianca with the Marcus Cousins and Montez Ford, I think that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> then if you put Charlotte as a heel and maybe move her to Raw, I think that would be better, realistically. But then the, the whole problem is that Be- Becky Lynch is a better heel than a baby face. Becky Lynch? Yeah, I, th- no, I Becky think Lynch so. Is I be- no, Becky, the Becky Lynch by far is a better is a better baby face. Like she has the For highest really? highs of her career have been as a baby face. Like not even close. I don't know. Maybe I just like heels. But anyways, but like, so then keep her as a baby face. Then uh, you got Trish Stratus over there. I think the the Raw Women's roster needs like some of the people that are on SmackDown right now being wasted. Honestly, send Shotzi over to Raw Underground, and then. Um, what? But it doesn't exist anymore. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Point proven. <laughs> so like that's exactly why. Send it to Sunday Night it. Heat. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Main event. <laughs> Could you Should imagine that? that? They're like, "Hey, we need you to report on Sunday to Sunday Night Heat." <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh my God! That's a great. Uh, oh, what? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> we just need you on Thursday on Thursday night, two oh five lives. <laughs> WCW Thunder. <laughs> ECW. Oh God! No. <laughs> Actually, uh. we just need you to report to this company. Yeah, right here. But, but Vince, it says TNA. Exactly. Exactly. You're gonna you're gonna put up the leave. Yeah, <laughs> they don't even um, watch you either. But, <laughs> but um, damn, man, I just it, it just became a roast fest. But um, <laughs> it kind of sucks, man, because Yo Sky is really good, ba- Bailey is really good, EST is good. Um, da- Dakota Kai, obviously, she's still hurt, but I'm glad that she's back. You know what I mean? I know you didn't like her, but I I thought she was cool. I I, well, uh, no, no, I, I said that I don't like her. I don't. I think she's more hyped than she actually is. Than, than her oh, actual okay. performance. I mean, like, but I like her. I, I like her as a manager, almost like the cheerleader. I think she's great cool. at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She would be cool. Like she um, adds something to it. Then um, who else? Oscar. She's being wasted. It kind of sucks too. Yeah, but she came back. I know she cut. She cut a half promo in English and part of it in Japanese. Just uh, her, to the her makeup anime looks cool. Style. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what they're. I don't know. But I don't know what they're gonna do with them. Cause then now you're gonna have uh, her and Io cutting promos in Japanese. Which I mean, fine. It sounds cool and it looks cool. But I honestly, I'm not sure what they're saying. I know they're saying it with a lot of conviction and everything. Exactly. That's all. I want to be able to. Know. It's like an anime. Yeah, but I want to be like able to watching, know what they're saying. It's like watching uh, Squid Games. <laughs> it's great. <sighs> 
Squid Game was fucking awesome. I just okay. seen it. No, I haven't seen it. Haven't Bro, seen it. you never seen Squid Games? Bro, that shit is legit. They're coming up with a part two. What a season two. That'll probably suck. Because they're trying what? to milk it. Oh, the, the part it probably two. suck because it, it's one of those things where, where I remember right. I saw Casa de Papel. Not, they came out with a second season where they weren't supposed to have a second season. And you can tell. Bro, Casa like, de Papel had like, what, almost eight? Had, I think it was three seasons or four seasons. I don't know. I think it was like three seasons, but the third season was like super long or something. But you oh. can tell season three was better than season two. Because season two, you could tell it was like, hey, Netflix just told us there's some money here. So... Let's try to make my it biggest, work somehow. My biggest issue is like I, I have problems understanding sometimes the Spanish from Spain. So for the people that don't know, the Spanish from pain, Spain from pain, the Spanish from Spain is the original Spanish. So they talk like this. Yeah, yeah. So it's like that. Like, like they, like they. For some reason, they put their tongue in the way I, of everything. Bro, the one thing I love of them is their cursing is second to none. It's yeah. brilliant. It's Hostia. like they don't say just Joder. no. Joder, tío. It's, it's like no. It's like one one girl. You're like, ah, me cago en la hostia, la billetera, la leche, la que I'm like, what the hell are you saying, bro? Like she's sounding like Eminem rap god. <laughs> I'm like, all of a sudden, I'm like, what are you doing? But it was hilarious. I'm busting out laughing. My wife and I were just like, what? Cause I mean it's 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 hilarious. And all of a sudden, bro, I was watching a movie one, and this little kid's like, "What's the idea?" And I'm like, "Yo, he cares." He's up with that. Like, it's like, damn, good bro. Like, he's five. Yeah, and he and he said more curse words too. And I was like, all right, I'm, hey, whatever. But it was it was it was it was hilarious. Uh, but yeah, man. Um, I don't know. Uh, going back to the women's division after talking about a. Uh, uh, Un de España. Uh, the, Sp we, the Spanish heritage. Hey, yeah. Spanish heritage month. Oh, happy, it is? Ha yeah, happy Hispanic heritage month. Oh, <laughs> While you talk, I'm going to uh, Google it. I'm pretty sure it's <laughs> But yeah, but, but, uh, but coming back from the, from the women's division, honestly, I do want them to thrive. I do think that somebody like a Sasha Banks is honestly necessary right now. Um, no, but uh, I'm not saying exactly her, but somebody of that caliber where you we can count on her. Naomi in ring isn't that great, like, she's all right, she's cool. I, I love Naomi, but in ring, honestly, she can't keep up with you know, she's, she's not Bailey in the ring. Come on, she ain't she, uh, she ain't uh, uh, Charlotte, you know, even Becky's better than Rick. So, I don't know. Um, it's it's sad, but I, I I really want them to do well, but I don't see anything happening. It seems like there's literally no direction at all. That is correct. I will agree with you on that. Yeah. There is no direction. They don't know what to do. And honestly, SmackDown has been like that for the past couple of weeks now. Um, no Roman Reigns means the fucking show is going to suck. Like, realistically, the, the, the storyline, we don't know what is going to go, what is going on with the bloodline. We're going to make a whole episode, a different episode on that uh, by itself. But anyways, let's go ahead and move on to our last topic, right? Since we already bashed the whole women's division, unfortunately, it just, it just sucks, man. They're being wasted. That's all it is. And it's sad to see, uh, realistically. There's Besides a lot of Shanti. talent. They just don't know what they're doing. Besides <laughs> Shanti. Shanti. No. Yeah. Oh, I forgot, Mia, I forgot, I forgot Mia, Mia Yim, but Mia Yim's not bad in the ring. They have to give her. They have to give her some time. But yeah, see. What, bro? Before we jump into our last topic, whenever, <laughs> whenever AJ Styles was like, whenever uh, AJ went up to Jimmy and he was like, "Why you talk to her? Why you talk to her like that?" Blah blah blah. And he's like, "Who the hell is that?" <laughs> like, realistically, <laughs> that's what he literally said, bro. In nicer words, he's like, "I don't even know who that is." <laughs> like that had me dead, bro. And he's not wrong. And he's and, not yeah. wrong. Now she's he's getting like, paid. I'll give her credit for that. Who are you talking about? But yeah. And she's still um, doing a better job than her husband than Keith Lee is doing in AEW. Damn, that, that's a fact. Uh, yeah. Yep. Bear cat. <laughs> but uh, anyways, for, for our last, our last news 
pretty deadly maybe maybe oh. returning soon man and i am am i am hype for them to be to return i hope yes. they get some titles i hope they split the tag titles pretty deadly is awesome i know their heels and I, I know a lot of people hate heels but honestly forget that they're heels bro they are freaking dope honestly um, they're great tag team wrestlers they're tag team specialists and they can cut a promo and they're hilarious even whenever they're cutting a promo about like working out before having a wrestling match or something like that and being and they're so annoying men. even their entrance the whole slow motion thing it's just it just gets on your nerves <laughs> I, I fucking love it could you imagine like, if they had a their, Johnny their Nitro music too? too I love it <laughs> they have Johnny Johnny Nitro there too but the whole thing oh, with the then they have oh them two just pop up. God. God. <laughs> that shit would have been that, super that slow been motion. Insane. That would have been insane. Yeah. What happened to the other dude, bro? Who? For, that used to be with Johnny Nitro. Um, Mercury. I can't remember. Mercury. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. I mean, he was a he was a uh, an agent for WWE for the longest time. Then he then he left. He was the guy an that agent. got his nose busted. Remember? Yeah, uh, like a backstage agent, a producer. So uh, producing the match, yeah, he was great at it supposedly. I don't know. He laughed. I don't know. He had some some issues, also some personal issues, but uh, he was the one that got that got busted open during Mercury. I don't know if you saw. Yeah, that, yeah, with, I uh, remember with the, that with the ladder that it, it literally. Yeah, that it was his face exploded. It, it was gushing everywhere, bro. It was like a Mortal Kombat finish him. Yeah, supposedly I think I'm I I may be wrong, but I think his eyesight was never 100 percent after that. Oh shit. I mean, could you, bro? Like, he could have literally died with that, because it was that bad. It was that bad. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and look it up afterwards. Yeah, but we're not gonna put it on the stream because. No, 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 <laughs> no. But yeah, man, uh, I am hype about um, Pretty Deadly coming back. Um, I think it would definitely help the uh, the tag team division and things like that. And honestly, they're awesome. They are pretty awesome. Mm hmm. All right. All right, man. So we're going to wrap it up here. All right, guys. Just remember to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bells. Comment. Oh, and by the way, watch that video we dropped today. Uh, we're going to try to do a continuing series of those. I don't know how how, how often because they're a little harder to do, but but we're going to try to we do give, everything give you guys, ourselves. So yeah. Yeah. It takes. yeah. And in, the, have, in a little family, bit of time. We have family. We have kids. We have jobs. It's everything. Like, everything. Yeah. So, so we're just trying to, we're just trying to, uh, Use our time as best as we possibly can to Correct. You know, Correct. do it to you guys. So, all right, guys. So, take care. Peace. Now I'm gonna be there.